Classification of plants. There are different ways to classify groups of plants, but normally if you get a textbook, botany or herbology, you will see the classification or modern classification of groups of plants by sexual reproductive characteristics. In some cultures, such as Native American tribes, they classify plants by directions, such as north, south, east, and west. The Cherokee, for example, classify plants by their function. Therefore, warring plants, such as brambles and poison ivy, will be different than scout plants, such as poplar and plantain. I'm pretty sure that just by the names, you can tell what is different about these plants and why they will be named that way. The Anishinaabe of the Great Lakes classify them by family roles. Therefore, cedar becomes grandmother cedar, birch becomes grandfather birch, and elder sister balsam fir. Now try to use a field guy that has black and white drawings. Remember when we talk about going outside, maybe for the nature walk, and starting to discover and learn some of these herbs and plants, and that this might prove more difficult than you think? I am sure that you probably are aware now of some of the plants, or you might recognize, for example, some of the most common ones, for example, daisies or